is a champion, the miserable pile of pixels. What's up summoners and welcome to my top 10 Annie skins video. As Annie got now 10 skins released so far, I decided to have a countdown and see which ones are the best of the best from the bunch. Please note that since I don't have all the Annie skins myself, I had to go and record them in PBE and because of that I couldn't use the LOL LSI replay system and therefore it didn't work there for some reason at all, so I had to record the footage in game. Also, if you want to get one of these shirts, you can find the link in the video description, but without further ado, let's get this list started. My name is Apodix and hope you enjoy the video. Frank and Tibbers Annie is the first entry in the list, and as the name says out loud, it's a direct reference from the Frankenstein franchise, more accurately the 1935 American movie called Bride of Frankenstein. The in-game model looks alright, and especially the Tibbers is pretty neat looking, so the horror theme fits decently into the Annie character. Nowadays, it's part of the Legacy Skin Vault, priced at 975 RP, but it might be out in resale in special occasions such as the Halloween times in late October, or you could be lucky to have one from the Hextech crafting or mystery skin boxes. Sweetheart Annie is another reference skin, as according to LOL Wiki, Annie's model is inspired from the actor Shirley Temple, as both shares the similar hairstyle for one thing. Also, the Tibbers design is straight from the Care Bear show, as the Lava Lot Bear has the most similar look compared with the in game skin. Both Annie's and Tibbers models overall are okay in game, as the skin shares the theme with Sweetheart Sona. The skin costs 750 RP, which is a decent for the looks of it overall, but there is one funny thing about the bear. Just take a look at the splash art again and you might notice Tibber's face resembles with another bear. Yeah, you maybe guessed it out, it's the goddamn peta bear, what were they thinking? Prom Queen Annie is a skin that gets its reference from prom, which is an event mostly held in United States, United Kingdom and Canada, though there are alternative types and names to the event in other countries, where in high schools the students gather for a dancing event and ultimately at prom there will be a king and queen titles honored to one male and female students. As for the Annie skin, she is dressed up, ready to go to the prom and apparently Tibbers is her dancing pair in the stage. But no, they just made up something for the bear, as you can notice in the splash arts. It's a Mumu after all who is supposed to pair with Annie, but he's too sad and scared to participate in the event, as you can see him in the shadows, which is kind of sad for the sad mummy himself. The in-game models looks quite decent, and for the price of 520 RP, it's without a doubt not a bad looking skin at all. Red Riding Annie is another legacy skin in this list, as it is a direct reference to the famous fairy tale Little Red Riding Hood. She shares the skin theme with Big Bad Warwick, who is supposed to be the Big Bad Wolf, who disguises himself as the girl's grandmother. However, the skin models on both Annie and Tibbers are quite decent, as it costed 975 RP when it was fully available in the store. One last thing I'm glad about is that they changed the splash art to the Chinese one, because I wasn't really a big fan of the original art when the skin was released back in the day. Annie in Wonderland is a surprise surprise, another reference skin which is from the novel and movies called Alice in Wonderland. It was one of the first legendary skins available, priced at 1820 RP, but it hasn't got that much of a speciality overall due to the skin's release date, which was back in August 2010. Even despite that, the looks on Annie are pretty good overall, and the Tibbers is taking the place of the white rabbit by having the rabbit ears on, regardless of Tibbers' bearish looks. 
Overall, the skin is very pricey, though it's legacy skin nowadays, and actually Mad Hatter Shaco shares this theme with Annie, as Shaco is a reference to the Mad Hatter of Alice in Wonderland. Last note, I checked some pictures of the White Rabbit online, and in every one of them he has red eyes all the time. Hmm, is he high or something, I wonder? Pandani is one of the skins that has its inspiration from the Chinese festivals, and the Tibber strongly resembles the Panda King from the Sly Cooper game series, who fights with the Flame Kung Fu, aka Flame Fu. The skin also shares its theme with Panda Timo, and the animations, especially the flame animations on Annie's spells, has the original fire color, although they have enhanced look overall. With a cost of 975 RP, Panda Annie is without a doubt one of the best looking Annie skins available. Goth Annie is the first skin ever released for her, as it was part of the Collector's Edition skins, together with Black Alistair, Silver Kale and Human Rise. Although Goth Annie remains as the only skin from the 4 that is still accessible from the store. The skin itself has very dark goth look in it as the flames have that purple visuals which fits the skin very nicely and Tibbers also looks very darkish altogether. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of gods, the skin is very well executed altogether and the skin shares its theme with Emumu who has more of an emo look rather than gothish appearance. Reverse Annie has been one of my favorite skins since its release back in September 2011, and as the title suggests, Annie and Tibbers have their identity swapped with each other, which looks hilarious altogether. There is nothing much to say about this skin, as the animations are pretty solid, but it's the look and the concept itself that makes this skin so great, having Annie dressed as Tibbers and Tibbers having the looks of Annie naturally. Overall, with the price of 975 RP, the skin is well worth the price in my opinion. Hextech Annie is the newest skin from the whole Annie Skins collection, as it was introduced when the Hextech Crafting was released, and upon opening Hextech chests, you need to collect 10 gemstones, which are somewhat rare in order to obtain Hextech Annie, which can really consume some of your money, depending on your luck, however. The skin itself looks pretty well done, as the theme, look and animations match perfectly together, and instead of the flames, she shoots arcane magic, which looks epic without a doubt. The skin has some sort of reference to the Bioshock games as Tibbers takes the role of Big Daddy and Annie Little Sister. All in all, the skin is very pricey depending on your luck on Hextech Crafting, but overall it looks really well executed and the skin shares its theme with Hextech Anivia, Galio, Janna, Singed and Sion as well. Frostfire Annie is in my opinion the best looking Annie skin in League of Legends because of few facts. First of all, her theme is completely inverted from the original and instead of fire she shoots ice, or Frostfire more accurately, which looks pretty cool. Secondly, the Tibbers looks pretty neat as he is completely white with an exception of that scarf and beanie that he wears, which have that striped pattern in it. According to the LOL wiki, in the Annie's current Chinese splash art, when she creates the circle of magic, it might be a reference to the anime called Fairy Tale, where in order to cast spells there will be always appearing a circle of magic around the characters. So all in all, the icy theme fits very neatly for Annie and is without a doubt a worthy skin to purchase with its price of 975 RP. Okay, so that covers up the top 10 Annie Skins video, hope you enjoyed. 
If you did enjoy, please like, comment and subscribe for more League of Legends, CSGO and other gaming related videos to come. That's about it for this time, my name is Apodix and have a nice day.